What's up, YouTube? We are back with another video. We have been on a roll talking about the future of work. If you haven't been hanging out with us, man, you have been missing it. Go ahead and check out our last video where we talked about the different type of jobs and industries that will be around in the future. And you want to align yourself to those jobs. And you can check that out here. But today, 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 we're going to talk about the number one skill that you'll need in the future. All right, let's get into it. The number one soft skill, because it is a soft skill that you'll need going into the future is communication. And not just communication, but effective communication. So what we're gonna do is divide this into two parts. We're gonna talk about nonverbal communication and effective communication. This is what you'll need going into the future. So there was this study done by the University of Victoria. Check this out. There was these researchers. They got to watch um, interviews happening. So people that were going for jobs, right? The interesting thing about the interviews, though, they weren't allowed to listen. They weren't allowed to listen. They were just allowed to watch the interviews. And because they watched so intently, they were able to predict which candidates got the job and which candidates did not based off of what? You got it. Nonverbal communication. You want to think about that because a lot of what you do is nonverbal. Think about it. When you're in a meeting, somebody says something you don't like or you don't agree with and you don't really want to say anything, you might do this. Or you might do this. I used to do this all the time, right? That's that nonverbal communication. And this is what you want to be mindful of. This is what you want to be careful of. And I also share with you, when I would go and um, debrief with hiring managers after they conducted an interview with a candidate that I supplied them with, I would go and debrief with them. Some of the abstract terms or labels that they would give candidates would be um, arrogant, unprepared, unprofessional, uh, not knowledgeable, um, the list goes on and on. And me, as a recruiter, I would have to dig a little bit further. What do you mean by that? What do they do exactly? You don't want them to remember you by an abstract term. It should be more along the lines of, you know what? Kelly was a great candidate. She gave a great example of her leadership skills when she shared a story about, you see how I'm able to talk about and how they remembered that person. Even if it's an internal interview, this is going to set you apart from the others if you're able to give some, some, some concrete responses, right? Some concrete answers. And even in presentations and team meetings and uh, town halls or asking questions, you want your communication to come across as concrete, as solid, with substance, meaty. It has something there that people can hold on to. You can't hold on to not knowledgeable, unprepared, cocky, arrogant, unprofessional. What does that mean? It's subjective. That can be anybody's point of view. You don't want that label when you're communicating with people. Even if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you're working on a project with your coworkers or your team members, you want to make sure that your communication, it lands with the person. It's one thing for me to talk to you. It's another thing for me to talk to you and you understand what I'm saying. You got me? So that's that nonverbal communication that I, want. I did want to tap into that. Before we move on, and, we're, and we'll transition now into effective communication. Communicating effectively allows you to connect with people. It, 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 it makes people want to follow you. It also makes people want to work with you by communicating effectively. LinkedIn recently did a study that said the number one skill that will be needed is communication, communicating effectively. We are in a world now where we have distributed teams. They're distributed across the globe. They're distributed a, a, across the world, right? You have to be able to communicate through a Zoom call or Teams meeting and ensure they understand what you're saying. If you're presenting, right? Are you coming across clear and concise and confidently? 
right? Just like you're watching me right now, you understand what I'm saying. You you know the points that I'm getting across, right? This is effectively a communicating if it's resonating with you. So you being on the other end of that camera, right? What I'm saying is resonating with you. You want to be able to do the same thing. So being effective while you're communicating helps you to be able to advance in your career. There was also another study done by Harvard and Stanford and the Carnegie Foundation that said that 85% of those that are able to advance in their career are the ones that are able to communicate effectively. Okay, so it's that important. It is that key that you tap into uh, being able to communicate effectively. And of course, if this is something that you'd like to work on, if you want to partner together to work on how to better communicate, because we all communicate in some form or fashion, but we can all hone our skills and tap into advancing our skills as it relates to communicating effectively. If this is something you want to partner on, go ahead and go to attractopportunities.com. There's a link over there where we can connect and we can map out a plan to ensure that there's milestones in place to get you on the road to communicating more effectively. Now, as a bonus, I wanted to give you five additional uh, critical soft skills that you'll need going into the future. One is adaptability. That's the no brainer. You know, everything that's happened that's occurred in the past couple of years, you know how all of the all the businesses, the employers are changing. You have to be adaptable and you have to be able to show how you're adaptable as it relates of working in uh, the work environment. Another one is critical thinking. Can you think on your feet? Things are changing rapidly. Uh, technology is moving at the speed of lightning. Are you a critical thinking? Can you meet deliverables quickly? If something is thrown on your lap, how do you map that out? How do you prioritize that, right? So critical thinking is another one. Another one, it's problem solving. How do you solve problems? How do you deal with problems? That's another soft skill that you want to have. Another one is learning, being able to learn new skills and new processes, new procedures. Things are changing. Technology is changing. Make sure that you're able to learn. The final one is time management. A lot of us are working at home. We're working remotely. How are you managing your, your time? We got vacation coming up or we have holiday coming up. Whatever the case is, how are you able to manage your time? So I gave you a bonus of five additional soft skills that you can use going into the future. Leave me a comment. Let me know if this was helpful or not. Let me know which skill do you feel as if you need to hone in on that you need to work on to help you to advance in your uh, career. I'd love to hear about it. We can talk about it in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. That way you will be notified every single time your girl uploads a video. I appreciate you checking me out. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.